Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey, man, love the show. But when are you guys going to start seeing the bigger picture? We're being lied to, man. Hey, guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector in San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. San Andreas just can't get enough of the Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole. It's the place for magic and adventure. We all like speaking rodents to entertain and educate our kids. And now with Jerry Gerbil, the kids have someone they can really relate to. Kids, come and play. I've got puppies to show you. Yay, it's Jerry speaking rodent. Go on, kids, have fun. I know it's safe. Jerry's wearing a latex bodysuit. See you later, Mom. We're off to have fun with strangers. Ride the log flume. Live the adventure of the flaming screen machine. Glory Hole Theme Park. Glory Hole. Open every day till 3 a.m. Come live oh. the mist. We'll select a member of another race or life form for you to claim as your soulmate and your dietary habits will go Pacific too. People come to San Andreas to escape their past. We'll help you lose contact with friends and family fast. Janice, it's time to invent the new you. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? We explore deep and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello, you're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restaurants. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the Russians, our arch enemy, still are. Russians are shooting at a space of hot dogs and monkeys. For only three sports that matter football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night. Oh, that was. Anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonian man on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary plan. I love the tallies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. Yeah, I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, Gotta go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great staying the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at the training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting scared. We were going on feet, 
shirts were going on the shirt part of their body serious faces on them and you could tell that they were going to play this game bottom line is if they don't score more points than the other team they can't win yeah man god you have some spooky insights into sports dude i love your show man i, I love you <coughs> Uh, yeah, uh, great talking to you. Mm, excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up, you know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game peeing at your seat. Going to the phones! I'm a big fight fan. Not a bit of a punch, yeah. Since my wife and children got taken into a shelter, my friend says, Chuck, you obviously love the kitchen thing. So I've gotten into boxing. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jack? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downward. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But, uh, I do like to piss on my seat and, uh, at my seat too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> hey, tell me, the five games, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to hit the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. Hot, 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 down. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. I miss little Vincent so much. He loved to play baseball. I, I was driving him to practice. I guess I was busy making eyes at the guy driving next to me. I didn't notice he was sticking his- That's not the point! We're lucky he was adopted, so we just got another. It's my life, and I don't want to forget anything! Documenting every moment of life is- Sexual realignment kit includes everything you need to go from Brad to Brenda in a jiff. It's just snip, chop, stuff, and swallow, and away you go. Do it in the bathroom and surprise your family with the new you. Comes with an instructional video, rusty knife and tourniquet, two aspirins, and 47 pounds of estrogen. It's all you need. When it's time for a change, you want it fast. 
Rapidite, the do-it-yourself sexual realignment kit. Be exactly who you want to be. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden... Ah! He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you. Love it or loathe it, let's talk about it. Stay in the tight and... Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves! Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay, the Wolves, that's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. <laughs> I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. Yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when has running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk and... Oh, it was... Any, uh, <laughs> anyway, who's on the line? We got a Caledonian fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify uh, with oh. shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary man. I love the Callies, man, but you know, oh, this yeah. year, I'm telling you, they're going to need the source and point. I start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. Ha! Here's what I see. But I say you say. The future of America. Let's move again. This time we need it. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, the cave paintings and museums make a violence. The anti-peace movement. Both Hitler and the police. <laughs> Organ donation! Oh, God, give me strength! 
I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Kate, I thought you were so glamorous, even your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramics this year. Cross cultural underwear or something. And I was very young. Very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And um, what's that? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I forgot to sleep around. And on that 